all right so what's up you guys it's your boy don show and for today we are back at it again with another reaction video now i know what you guys might be thinking you've never done reaction videos and now all of a sudden we got two back to back and that is true because the fighting game scene is popping off and yesterday we had our kof trailer and today we are back at it again with a guilty gear strive trailer for happy chaos now this trailer just dropped i was watching the rebel stream and i saw that they were starting to play this so i hopped out i waited for them to actually post this as a video so i could actually record it as a reaction video but consider that it just dropped it might be the first time for you guys to watch this trailer as well along with me so if that is the case hopefully you guys are just as excited as i am and hopefully we can get to see something good now before i forget i just wanted to say that the first time around i will always watch the trailer in full there's no skipping no pausing whatsoever because i know the people that actually enjoy watching reaction videos do not tend to like it when people pause and skip the first time around so i'm trying to avoid that for you guys so the way i get down with it is just watching it in full for the first time around and if i see anything in interesting then we're just gonna roll it back and check it out once more so without further ado let's really get into it right now let's go all right there we go i like his va man i really do oh jack going to cut let's get it there he is okay so i kind of expected this man to drop a little bit later i didn't know what i should have expected from the silhouette that they dropped but i guess happy chaos man here he is the silhouette now finally makes sense. I was breaking my brains on what it could have been, but it's the boy right here. But his sassiness and his animation is making me interested already. Let's go. The gunslinging broken messiah. Let's go. Yo, my man got hit markers? My man got the strap on him? Okay, I <laughs> Yo, that walk was sick. That walk reminds me of Belial from GBVS. Yo, my man is way more than I actually expected him to be. Let's go. I might need to mute or mute that. I might need to censor that. Yo, reload that thing. Let's go. That walk is peak sauce. Okay, that walk. He shot. Okay, we're going to have to roll this back. Yo, this is super looking clean. Hop in the whip then. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. Yo, my man is looking sick with it. Oh, they didn't play it in full. Yo, okay, I'm gonna pause it right here. This man is looking way more sauce out than I actually expected this man to be. There's a lot to digest, so we're definitely rolling it back. Okay, so we're just cutting it back right to the beginning so we can start breaking this trailer down. Now, I did lower the playback speed just because it's a little bit easier to see what's going on and whatnot. But first up, I do want to say that the VA work for Happy Chaos has been sick. Like, ever since he got introduced to the game, I always said that this VA has been killing it. And this time in the trailer as well, when you guys give it a listen, like, the VA work for this man has been so sick. Like, it really sells the character. And talking about selling the character, the animations that they've been putting in, like, just the way my man moves right here and his mannerisms, like, even in this short little clip right here, you can actually see that they really put in the work and the effort to make this character alive. And we all know that Strive has been killing it when it comes down to visuals, but that doesn't mean that I can't point it out once more because they've been consistently putting in great work when it comes down to characters just based on their animations alone and really putting up characters. Like, they are making them lively, they are doing everything they can to give them their own mannerisms and their own style, and it really pays off in the long run, at least in my opinion because every character does feel different and unique to his own and he seems to be no different from that and i really enjoy that so my man the gunslinging broken messiah he is looking real clean now those hip markers i do have a few questions like is it something that's just a visual effect just because like just for the sauce if so then it's really cool but i do wonder like will it get annoying if you play a little bit longer or if you play like a long set like is it just spazzing out across the screen or is it related to a move like a visual clue because that would change things i just think that if this is a thing that's constantly on your screen it might get annoying over time but i don't know like i do not know if it's related to a move or not we're just gonna have to see when my man drops or when they put like a statement or a video out on them other than that i do wonder if it's gonna get annoying over time but that's a minor issue man i do think that it's a really unique effect and just a unique way to put more into the character visually so i do think that it's a great addition all around now then we have a man's walk coming up in a second my man's walk right here 
has me absolutely sold. I love this walk more than anything. Like, it's so godlike. Like, you just walk up on him, grab him, and let him know. Like, my man just letting him know. And since we're here anyways, I just want to talk about that little smiley shield right there. If we can actually pause it on the right screen. The little details like this really put Strive ahead of everything else right now. Like, things like these, they really didn't need to do it, yet they did it. And it really makes for great characters. Like, visually, this game has been on top and killing it. Now, yet again, the walk, it really has me sold. The grab animation and there's kind of eh, whatever, but it does remind me of Belial. Now, this is interesting right here. Uh, and when I mean Belial, I mean Belial from GVS because he did have a similar walk. But this right here is interesting because my man has clones and it seems that Kai is hitting them and it absorbed the hit. So I wonder like how big this mechanic is going to be when it comes down to playing him. So that is also something very interesting. We can see the hit marker is not green anymore. So maybe that means that it's actually in an attacking state. So stuff like that, like there's a lot going on, man. We have a lot to get actually answered, uh, which I think is actually the case because right now we're not attacking. Well, we are attacking and now it's still green. So maybe I'm wrong. Then he activates something and I really wonder what that is. So my man just goes into a little string right here and he activates something i really wonder what that is little taunt animation that's all cool like there's a lot going there's a lot going on with this character i can't wait to actually play with this dude so my man just posing on him i'm guessing that's a taunt for him um all cool oh well shoot mate i can respect that anytime but here is the sauce my man's like bop my man just had to shoot the timer i think like that is so like it's so little yet out of the box that really had that really just had me when i saw it like that shit is so cool although timing out in strife good luck with that so that's gonna be rare then we have this little super right here also really clean looking my man hopping in the whip letting him know getting ready for it like the mannerism in his face as well like the facial expressions just everything about this character is really checking out for me let's rock that was the trailer and yet again let me just just scroll back to the part where we're shooting may because you know the boy loved that like i am an anti may player i'm sorry it just has to be done like that but my man shooting the timer it's something really unique i haven't seen something like that before this super right here visually is also like off the chain like there's so much going on so many bright colors i do think it's gonna hurt your eyes when you're playing late at night like the type of guy i am i'd be playing at like 4 a.m or whatnot this is the way i move but you know what we're gonna have to hold that i really think they really really went out for this character and i can't say that i'm any less than excited for this man to come out even though i'm still playing my melia even though i'm still putting my disc okay and mix people up i really think this is a great addition to the roster from what i can read right here if i put away my mic for a second it seems like the release date is on the 3rd of december for everyone and for the early pass holders i think it's the 30th of november so that's actually pretty close he's pretty close i am really interested to see all the sort of sauce combos that people can come up with this dude because i just have a great sense of feeling that this man will have the sauces of the sauces combos and naturally speaking i will be on the combo grind as well because i do want to put out a combo video just like jacko i'm trying to keep that up for all the dlc characters that they will release in the future but i will also be looking into making a combo guide for you guys to follow along with and just posting any saucy combos that i can find with my man they will be on the channel as well and on that note i just wanted to say that hopefully you guys are just as excited as i am about this man because visually i am completely sold and i can't wait to see what he's up to so with that in mind as always thank you guys for watching this video it was your boy Doncho. stay healthy stay blessed and i'm out peace